Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We got a Liberty Helix 98 for you today, and a wider twin tip version of the Helix 88, less symmetry, so more of that all mountain and free ride perspective to it, while still remaining capable of park skiing and having just creativity and your tricks in a all mountain format. So. There's a little bit more versatility to this 98 than we see in the 88, kind of almost crossing into origin series in terms of uh, application and freestyle prowess, but more of a twin tip in terms of camber and profile in this 98 than we see in origin. And that kind of speaks to its more park oriented design and features. A very, very prototypical ski of what we see from Liberty. They've been known for making great free ride twin tip skis for years now. Have that soft snow focus, you know, being based in Colorado makes a lot of sense where they're getting more snow, have softer snow, more sunshine. So you're gonna need a ski that holds up to those types of conditions. Helix 98 does a great job in that regard. A lot of it starts with that construction. They do use a blend of bamboo and poplar in the wood core. Bamboo is pretty interesting material for skis. We don't talk about it a whole lot outside of the Liberty line. Uh, it tends to be more on the lightweight and flexible side of the spectrum. So Liberty's workaround in that regard is they just put more of it in there. So a thicker core profile overall in these skis. And anytime you're doing that, you're basically adding more of an insulative layer. So even though the wood is light and flexible, since there's more of it, it just feels like a much smoother and more stable ski. So very interesting, you know, it's not groundbreaking technology that since there's more material, there's more stability, uh, but Liberty with bamboo and skis, uh, that's a pretty rare combination. And then we do get carbon strips on top uh, to add to the stiffness and pop of the ski. When we kind of look at the profile, it, you know, complements that quite well in terms of adding to the energy. So back to back here, we do get some nice positive camber underfoot. Uh, not quite as much as we see in the more competitive 88. Uh, that gives the Helix a little bit more of that free ride capability. Uh, and that goes along with that rocker as well. So not quite origin rocker, but also not quite Helix 88 or Evolve rocker. Uh, this 98 fits right in the middle. Very round uh, tip shape as well and that's gonna to lead to more smoothness cutting through softer and fresh snow. And then tail splay, you know, definitely falls into that twin tip category. More of that park-like twin tip versus what we see in Origin. Uh, certainly capable of having that switch riding profile, uh, just making it easier to take off and land backwards, even in softer snow. And then we see that nice round shape here as well. So definitely, balances what they do with Evolve, which is far more squared off. Uh, this is gonna be a lot less hooky. This is just a very drifty and smeary ski with some good energy built in. Uh, you know, pretty light, pretty agile. Really great option for, you know, an advanced or expert skier that's looking for that wider twin tip uh, that, you know, for pretty much all, any type of all mountain skiing, uh, adding that park part to the resume as well. So pretty cool ski, uh, new graphic for 2024, but otherwise same construction, same shape. Make sure you check out this Helix 98 here at skiessentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.